Yeah, sure, my thing, um, how did uh, things go today? What was the cook's message that y'all tried to you know, get past that and move on to the 10th day? Um, we just got to clean up the penalties, uh, the self-inflicted ones. We just got to eliminate those, and we should be good to go. The, uh, the, the, the running game in the first quarter, what did you see uh, that you liked there, and are there things that you can apply to running in the future? Um, we just got to continue to improve. Um, like I said, we did, we did good in the first, second quarter as far as running the ball, and then after that, I don't know. I can't tell you what happened. Um, just keeping uh, keeping Philly uh, guessing, just keeping them on their toes, I guess. Uh, just going to hurry up and then uh, running the ball, just mixing it up. Um, I think it helps us as, uh, as far as uh, anybody can be anywhere and we can run any play. Was that something you thought might happen when you signed here? Was that kind of probably one of the things they sold you on? Or that kind of after the fact? Um, that's probably after the fact. Uh, I don't think that's what sold me on coming to Atlanta, but I mean, you know. You have to adjust. When it comes to the, the penalties, um, you know, you've been around for a long time. What, what do you kind of think the best way to combat that is? You know, I think that there are a lot of times where you could let guys can kind of get in their head about it. How do you kind of make sure that you move forward in that regard? Um, just got to have a short term memory. Uh, just got to be able to move on. Um, can't let the penalties uh, disrupt what we have going on offensively and defensively. Um, just got to be able to get back on track. What's the best way to kind of combat that? Is it more practice time? Is it get guys getting into the playbook more? I mean, it, it, when it comes to maybe like the illegal formation calls or the false starts, like what kind of goes into making sure that those don't accumulate? Um, I would say practice. Uh, no, can't can't speak on it. You know, about for other guys, but it's just I don't know. We just got to be more focused. Um, run blocking wise, I, I think they did their thing. Um, it's just something we just got to continue to improve on. Um, we know we have Tampa coming up, so just, just got to make sure we improve on every aspect as far as offense. Not even just offensive line, I got to improve as well. Um, is is just we gotta eliminate those penalties, especially when it comes to big plays happening. Um, I, I still haven't even seen the play yet. And Mike, um, first time really y'all were all together on the field at one time. Uh, they only had a hundred yards in six games last year. Do y'all look at it like, hey, we could build on this, get get the block even better, and keep keep going forward with the run game? Um, we always look at the things we could do better. Um. I mean, of course, we you know we feel confident that we could run the ball, pass the ball. It's just we got to look at things as we can improve every week, improving everything um, that we go out there. As a leader on the team, what is your role and the role of other team leaders during the course of this week to get what is it has a lot of young players on it, kind of back in the right space to go compete against them? We got a long season. Uh, it's just the first game. Scott, we, we know what we need to do. Uh, make sure guys' heads are up, you know, uh, make sure there's no power, no guys being sad around here. It's the first game. So uh, we've been places where people lose the first first, first game, first two games, they go on a streak and win a 14. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. As long as guys have their heads up, uh, we have that confidence and guys are ready to go. Really doesn't matter.
you should ask that question now. Yeah, how much can y'all tell Um, what you can tell, um, I mean, you put on a film, you see guys, you see effort, um, you see guys uh, trying, you see the things they're doing wrong. It's just, it's a little bit of tweaking and correcting what you did wrong. So when you don't have these penalties uh, in a red zone and in an open field, you can see how a domino effects. So once you eliminate those penalties, uh, you can see how, how good our offense was moving the ball. Um, no, I have confidence these things can be fixed. Uh, it's, it's simple things as far as lining up in the wrong formations, uh, offensive uh, pass interference, uh, holdings, false starts. Those things are easily correctable. Um, it's just something we have to fix. Um, you know, they, they have a great defensive line as well. You know, they got great linebackers as well. Um, you know, as, as overall, their defense is, is very solid. Um, it, it's not going to get any easier. Um, you know, with those guys, the way they rush, uh, you know, they play as a team. So, guys, we, we just have to be ready. And, you know, that's, that's the end of it. Just be ready for what's to come. Um, I think CP did great. He ran the ball well. He ran hard. Um, like I said, a lot of people was just looking at him as a, a receiver, but no, Cardell was a running back. So he, he went out there, did his thing. He ran hard. He played hard. So those type of things, uh, Coach won at the running back position. Yeah, I, I think we, we, we complement each other well as far as power and speed. You know, uh, I don't think there's there's any type of drop off when either one of us is not in the game. So that's I think is is, is key in this offense. Um, it give us a look as I guess how teams will play if I'm in the backfield, if CP's in the backfield, if he's in slot, if I'm in slot. It just give us uh, information on how teams will play us. Uh, yes, I think there's uh, it's it's just the opportunity and uh, opportunity to get better, um, knowing that you're playing a, a stout defense, uh, guys that that rush well and uh, in the run game and pass. Uh, I think it's just a great opportunity to get better. That's how I look at it. Thank you.